My name is Ashley Kurtzinger. I'm the Director of Survey Methodology for KFF. And KFF partnered with the AP to ask some additional questions on the AP VoteCast questionnaire in order to really dive deep into the role that healthcare played in voters' decisions. So I think it's important to um, recognize that the 2022 midterms were about a lot of things. They were about President Trump's support for certain candidates. They were about candidates' characteristics and the quality of those candidates. But when we look at issues, um, inflation was definitely top of mind for most voters, including a majority of women voters. But where there is some differences among women voters is a large share of them also said that the Supreme Court overturning Roe was the single most important factor in their vote. So about three in 10 women voters said it was the single most important factor in their vote compared to a smaller share of men voters. For many races, it moved voters on the margins. So, you know, there were very, there were states in, um, House races that were very competitive, right? And so it wasn't the dominant issue for these voters, but it may have moved certain groups of voters on the margins that gave Democrats the advantage in those states. One of the um, striking things that came out of polling right after the Supreme Court Dobbs decision was people's kind of emotional responses to the decision. And if we look at voters who said that they were angry about the Dobbs decision, they overwhelmingly went for um, the uh, Democratic candidates for Congress. So it's 82% of these voters who were angry about the Dobbs decision um, voted for the Democratic candidates. And we find that to be true in some of these key states also, like Pennsylvania, like Arizona, Michigan, and Kentucky. If voters were angry about the Dobbs decision, um, they were more motivated to vote and voted for Democratic candidates.